Yeah. In the next section, Rotzinger seems to take on Ernst Bloch. And yeah. I wonder if you could offer a few comments on why uh, Bloch's understanding of history and, and future, maybe future mm -hmm. is the better term, mm -hmm. why those militate against a proper Catholic understanding. Yeah. Well, his, his relationship with Bloch is interesting because they were, they were both academics at the same university for a period of time. And he even went to some kind of salon, you know, some soiree sort of event where Bloch was present. And it's really hard to imagine those two in the, in the same room together. <laughs> but Bloch was a Marxist. And, and so his, his concept of truth was that it's, you know, it's something we construct. It's, mm. it's not something given. And his concept of hope was was sort of all tied up with technology. And there's that famous quotation where he says, you know, that the the cathedrals of the future will be laboratories. And he he actually says um, that uh, uh, I'm just trying to remember that he oh that's right, that um, the new basilicas will be like electricity plants, you know. And and Ratzinger just thinks this this person does not only not understand truth, but he doesn't understand beauty either. And in the Catholic intellectual tradition, the um, the transcendental property of beauty is often linked to the theological virtue of hope. You know, and um, beauty gives us hope. You know, and and Block, you know, Block was like. Mr. kind of like just putting all of his faith in science and technology and and thinking that somehow um, some futuristic scientific world was going to liberate the human person mm -hmm. from all of their problems. And this is this is in what he based his hope. And he actually thought that there was some link between beauty and technology, <laughs> and that that kind of conception, yeah. uh, you know, mm. couldn't be further. Not only from Ratzinger, you could say it couldn't be further from Goethe. You know, it's oh. it's, it's <laughs> you know, it's just it's sort of planet Pluto sort of perception. Sure. But um, well, it's, it, it seems. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. I, I just it, you know, in the era of the 1960s. And the 1970s, Marxism was extremely popular in German universities. It seems like uh, for something to be properly hoped for, it, it needs to be out of the reach of man, according to our own powers. Mm -hmm. If it's something that I can achieve with a little more diligence or just a little luck, then mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like that's actually hope. No, uh, and, and I think right. Ratzinger identifies this in other places. I was reading... Uh, I took full advantage, by the way, Dr. Roland, of the $2 back issue communio sale this summer. I walked right. away with uh, a treasure trove of of intellectual uh, reading. Somewhere in here is a, a an issue from maybe 15 years ago where Ratzinger's uh, article on hope, it's called On Hope, is republished. So he had written it at some time in the past. It's in the Retrieving the Tradition section. And I mm -hmm. recall that uh, Bloch figures largely into that article as well. Yes. Um, and and I, again, if I'm not mistaken, it has been a little while since I read it. He, he Rotzinger, identifies hope as something that is beyond man's reach. So if I oh. can do it in some oh. conceivable future, then it's yes. not actually something I can hope for. Hope is properly in God and in oh. his uh, promises and his abilities, which clearly transcend ours. But mm. so, so for Marxists such as Bloch, it's not really hope. No, uh, it's it's um, techne. It's maybe yes. it's uh, perfection of man's skills and just a little more time and a little more patience. Yeah. Uh, but that that like you said that that misses the mark and couldn't be further from Catholicism or Romanticism for that matter. Yeah, um, and I right, think, I, think oh, it, yeah, I was just going to say in Space Selvi, which is Pope Benedict's uh, encyclical on the theological virtue of hope, 
I think one of the people he's really gunning for there is Bloch also. But it's more generally, he's, you know, he is he is critical of what he calls the mutation of the, the understanding mm. of hope as a theological virtue into some political project. And uh, I think in, in making those criticisms, he's not only being critical of the Marxists, he's also being critical of theologians like Johann Baptist Metz and some of the liberation theologians who similarly seem to be placing their hope in politics and technology, you know, rather sure. than the community. So on the bottom of 661, I think this is where, um, if I'm not, if I'm following... Ladies and gents, the preview is over. To watch the full video, go to canon211.locals.com and become a member, become a supporter, get access to exclusive content, stay in touch with the Canon211 community. Well, that's it for today. Never give up. Keep on smiling. And memento mori. Cheers. <laughs>